must when i attain god i shall attain everything i renounced gold and silver saying rupee is clay and clay is rupee gold is clay and clay is gold with these words i threw gold silver and clay into the ganges then i was afraid at the thought that mother lokhi might be angry with me because i treated her wealth with contempt that she might even stop my meals so i prayed to the divine mother oh mother i want thee and nothing else i knew that by realizing her i should get everything bhavanath smiling this is the shrewd calculation of a businessman master smiling yes that is so once the lord was pleased with a certain devotee he appeared before him and said i am very much pleased with your austerities ask a boon of me the devotee said o oh lord if you are gracious enough to give me a boon then please grant that i may eat from gold plates with my grandchildren one boon covered many things wealth children and grandchildren all love hazra was sitting on the veranda master Do you know what Hazra wants? He wants money. His family is in distress. He has debts. He thinks that God will give him money because he devotes himself to japa and meditation. A devotee. Can't God fulfill a devotee's desire? master if it is his sweet will but god doesn't take entire responsibility for a devotee unless the devotee is completely intoxicated with ecstatic love for him at a feast it is only a child whom one takes by the hand and seats at his place who does that with older people not until a man thinks so much of god that he cannot look after himself does god take on his responsibilities hazra doesn't inquire about his family his son said to ramlal please ask father to come home we shall not ask anything of him these words almost brought tears to my eyes hazra's mother said to ramlal please ask protap to come home just once footnote protap hazra footnote 10 also ask your uncle to request him to come home footnote uncle the master footnote 10 i told him about it but he didn't listen to me 
is a mother to be trifled with before becoming a sunnashi chaitanya dev worked hard to persuade his mother to let him renounce home mother shochi said that she would kill keshav bharati footnote keshav bharati the guru who initiated chaitanya into monastic life footnote ends Chaitanya Dev did his utmost to persuade her. He said, "Mother, I shall not renounce home if you won't let me. But if you compel me to lead a householder's life, I shall die. And mother, even if I go away as a sunnashi." you will be able to see me whenever you desire i shall stay near you i shall see you every now and then only when chaitanya explained it to her thus did she give her permission narada could not go to the forest to practice austerity as long as his mother was alive he had to take care of her after her death he went away to realize god when i went to brindabon i felt no desire to return to calcutta it was arranged that i should live with Gongama Footnote Gongama a great woman saint of Brindabon Footnote ends Everything was settled My bed was to be on one side and Gongama's on the other I resolved not to go back to Calcutta I said to myself How long must I eat a koiburto's food Footnote Koiburto A reference to the proprietors of the Dokhineshwar temple who belonged to the fisherman caste considered low in Hindu society Footnote ends No said ridoy to me let us go to calcutta he pulled me by one hand and ganga ma pulled me by the other i felt an intense desire to live at prindabon but just then i remembered my mother that completely changed everything she was old i said to myself my devotion to god will take to its wings if i have to worry about my mother i would rather live with her then i shall have peace of mind and be able to meditate on god <laughs>